my name is Arvel L. Welcome to Peace and Neutrality. It's a new podcast show, right? Isn't that exciting? Look, today I am going to be talking about Peace and Neutrality. What is this show about? This is Ground Zero, Episode Zero, whatever you want to call it. But look, let's get into it. I'm going to break down peace and neutrality, and I'm going to be talking about a few other things while we go through this. So speaking of that, I'm going to introduce you to my little friend, and my little friend is Bow. Here it is. It is a book that I actually wrote, and I am so proud of myself. I actually wrote a book about character, create a lifestyle with character, the four-step system to learn how to discover the ultimate you. Ooh, let me do a thumbnail real quick. If I can look at the right place. Hey, all right, guys. Look, so as I introduce myself, I'm Arvell. Look, I like having fun with these videos, so let's do it, okay? So let's talk about peace. Peace as a concept and state is a multifaceted complex phenomenon that can be understood in various ways. Peace can be defined as a state of harmony and absence of violence, conflict, and disturbance. It encompasses both the absence of physical violence and the absence of conditions that promote societal well-being, cooperation, and stability, all right? Peace is not limited to the absence of conflict, but it extends to various dimensions of human life, including social, political, and economic and environmental aspects. Peace is a critical factor to a lot of things. Who doesn't want peace? I want peace. I want peace in my life. I want peace in paradise, right? I want to be able to live in a paradise where I can just go jump in the ocean and swim with the fish and, and live with the dolphins and see mermaids and unicorns flying across the sky. Oh man, that'd be great. That'd be awesome. That'd be what a wonderful world, right? You know, but we don't live in a world like that. We live in a world where there's conflict, there's political, economic, all kind of stuff going on, right? But, but the great thing is, is that there's this thing called balance in life. And that's why I call this peace neutrality. The neutrality part of it is another part. Now, I'm going to talk about that right now. Neutrality is a concept that can be applied in various concepts, but at its core, it generally refers to a state of being impartial, unbiased, or unaligned with any particular side, opinion, or party. Neutrality involves refraining from taking a stance or showing favoritism in a situation where there are conflicting interests, views, or positions. It is a principle aimed to ensure fairness, objectivity, and lack of partiality. Now, there's some people like saying, whoa, I'm going to have to turn this show off right now because, man, I don't know. And I'm not doing that voice for a particular reason, all right? Because I know people reading this stuff. and be like, man, why are you being all country about it, bro? It's not that. Let me, I can get all New York, too. You know what I'm saying? Yo, uh, I, you want me to read that? Like, you know, I can do it that way, too. So anyway. Look, guys, neutrality, it defines a great way to seek clarity. When I have a conversation with someone, I'm not, I'm not being biased to anything I believe in. What I'm doing, I'm allowing myself to be able to open my mind, to be neutral about a conversation. Because when I'm neutral about a conversation, I can hear a person. There were times in my life where someone would tell me something and I would just be like, oh, I don't even want to hear this because I already know what I believe in and what I do, right? That was the reality of me making fun of myself, right? That's what I do. Now, understanding the neutrality of life as I've grown, right, into this space in life, you know, I've been able to see that clarity allows me to be able to remove confusion, right? I already know that I believe, I have a belief system, right? That I've built and that belief system works for me. I don't need someone to tell me that, oh, you know, hey, your system isn't better than mine or this isn't better than that. No, 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 no. That's not how I have conversations with people. I love conversations where I ask like, hey, I wanna learn about you as a person. 
And because I'm going to learn about you, I'm going to learn about your history and your background and everything. Now, I have a company called Mellow Being, Flawed Perfection. It's a lifestyle character building brand. That book I just showed you, that book is based off of the company that I own. And that company is based off of helping people understand their character, their mind, who they are, right? Internally, I truly believe when you find yourself internally first, you find your purpose. When you can wake up in the morning and you understand what you have gratitude for, right? The life that the earth gives, the light that gives that life, you start to build a foundation. When you build a foundation and put all the pieces together, you start building characteristics and traits that grow with you. And when you grow and you start to build knowledge and expand your mind, your body, your spirit, you can start creating a belief system in yourself and you can commit to that. And that belief system will start to change you. And when it starts to change you, you start to see the improvement in your life and your success. And when that success starts coming like clockwork, like second nature, you start to realize like, whoa, I found something amazing success when people start telling you things that you've never heard before people are like man you're awesome what do you mean i'm awesome no dude no 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 i would never do what you do right when you hear stuff like that you know and you know they're like oh man i'm not capable of doing that i'm like oh hold on you're capable of doing that for sure we can do anything we put our minds to that's where i start to empower but at the same time building this this peace and neutrality inside of myself allows me to be able to listen to people, understand people, right? And dare say that I can improve anybody that I come across because I believe in people. I believe that conditions do not make us who we are, but can transform us into someone better. I believe that. And that is something that I know works. Let me go into something real quick. Now, there is a hierarchy system, and that system is the universe, right? And at its core is that the universe is built off of energy, and that energy created chaos. And that chaos, after it's all said and done, it creates peace. I see the system as it's in its neutral state that it creates chaos and peace. It doesn't care. It's not an emotional thing. It has no psychological aspect built into it. It's just a logical system that is built off of chaos and that chaos creates life. And that life comes from the peace thereafter, right? So if you agree, great. If not, then I still love you, right? Okay, all right, so we live in a hierarchy where we have our systems built underneath that hierarchy. And so based off of the hierarchy, we can become the balance of that, meaning that we are intelligent life that can create technology. We can create all these tools that allow us to be able to see and predict things that we've never done before because of our intelligence, because we decided to say, hey, you know what? We want to learn about these systems and these things so that we can become better and so that we can start understanding the mathematics and science behind things. Right. And so now that we're doing that, we're, we're reaching into spaces where we've never seen things before. We can peer into the eyes of space and its past and all those things. That's just giving you an example of that. When you understand the neutrality of life, of the basis and its core, that everything is built off of a balance. And that, and that is built off of neutrality. Life itself in its logical form is, it is what it is. You know, physics, they are what they are. You know, you're, you're only empowered by the system that you are within. In understanding the hierarchy, you understand that you are within that system and within that system, you can create balance. And understanding the balance means that you have to understand the knowledge that comes with that balance, okay? And when you understand that balance, that's where you can thrive and create infinite possibilities. And we'll get more into that as we continue to go through these shows. So 
let me go into these examples and start spurring some some brain brain stuff all right let's do it look at the sun it creates chaos because there are elements missing that hold it together over time it loses its nature its makeup it causes an unbalance starts to happen with that imbalance it causes chaos right so no different from the earthly way of life when we have imbalance in our bodies what happens we get sick right the internal elements of our body start to fight off the attack we have a peaceful village that has abundance in its town and up the road there's a town that doesn't have abundance and it attacks the village because it's in need of what that town has abundance when your stomach's full and you know you don't think about food you can think about the possibilities of being able to advance your mind your body and your spirit but when you're starving it's hard to think about the things to be able to go to the next level that's why i say at its core the fundamental things in life are really really important when balance isn't understood there's chaos when balance is understood there is peace but peace isn't without conflict to maintain the balance so being a problem solver in life creates the balance but if you are the only one creating balance there is still external conflict chaos because you're still combating the natures that be the powers that be okay i'll dig deeper into various aspects in these in the future podcasts let me say this we as intelligent individuals are capable of bringing balance in all things if we allow ourselves to okay thank you for listening to this ground zero episode all the best to you always my name is arvel l